It's always the solution, isn't it? A cup of tea. Anything could happen in my life and I'd stick the kettle on. Tough day at work, a toasted sandwich. Nan's dead, I'd make a brew for all of them. That last one would have to be a bit more mournful, mind. Maybe leave the tea bag in a bit longer. I don't think I can ring him. It's your dad. It's not. I mean, it is, but he's a stranger. What do I know about him now? His name, his phone number, the fact he disappeared for the last 12 years. He wants to know you, though. That's what the letter was about. He wouldn't have written if he didn't want to come back into your life. He was hardly in my life. He was once, though, remember? What about when he first moved here? He took us to see Ratatouille at the cinema, then tried to cook us actual Ratatouille afterwards. The first time I saw a fire engine, it was zooming towards my house. Exactly. It always seemed like, from my perspective anyway, he enjoyed being your dad, doing dad things with you. What did you think of the letter, truthfully? I thought it was quite honest and sentimental. Do you remember the football game he was talking about? <laughs> yeah, it was the first one he ever took us to. Oh, White Hart Lane. <laughs> Carrick should have scored two goals, but <laughs> the Villa goalie was too good. It ended nil-nil. Oh, I was well angry with him at full time. As if it was his fault that we didn't win. Was the chippy tea as good as it sounded? Yeah, it probably was. But it just tasted like a draw to me. Honestly, I'll never understand you and your football. So melodramatic. No matter what happens, was Nil Nil really so bad that you couldn't enjoy gorging on a chippy tea? Well, it wasn't just that. I mean, there was vinegar everywhere. I hate vinegar. You what? That's sacrilege. Vinegar is the nectar of the gods. What if I ring him and he's not how I remember him? Then we tell him to bugger off. However far you want to take this, it's completely down to you. Hello?